Hi, uh, this is Five Pound Pete, and today I'm going to talk about the electrical box that's going in our van. Uh, this box goes underneath the bed in the uh, garage and uh, contains uh, the battery, the inverter, and the solar charger. So on the back of the box is a 300 amp cutoff switch. Uh, I picked a switch that fits inside the box mostly, so it's just the handle sticking out. That saves space in the garage. Over on this side is a charging port, uh, so if the van's sitting in the garage for an extended period of time, I can charge the battery up with an external charger. Um, in the back of this panel is a, a DC fan and some indicator lights. And the, the purpose of that fan is to cool the box if any one of the units gets hot. And so each unit has a thermal switch attached. So if any one of the, or more of the units gets warm above a, a certain temperature that I've set, um, the fan will come on and these little indicators will tell me which of any of those uh, units is actually activating the fan. So when the, anything gets in hot in there, I've got active cooling to pull air through the box and cool all those units. So I'm gonna show you what's inside the box now. Uh, take off the lid. I've uh, unbolted one of the side panels so I can show you what's happening inside the, inside the box. So in, at the bottom of the box is a 200 amp per hour battery that can deliver 200 amps. Uh, it's Bluetooth enabled, it's a Renogy battery. Uh, it's a lithium iron phosphate technology so it can be fully discharged uh, and it's just a fantastic battery. Uh, above that is a 3000 watt uh, Renogy inverter uh, and that is primarily there to put out enough power to uh, drive and, and power up uh, the electric water heater used in the shower. And it runs a lot of other things too, hair dryers, microwave, all kinds of things, but it's uh, 3,000 watts. Uh, you'll notice that I've actually mounted it upside down. And to, that was so that I could align the positive terminals on the battery with the positive terminal on the inverter. And that allowed me to cable those two together with really short six inch cables made out of uh, number one gauge wire. Uh, all the cables in here, there's five of them, they're six inches long is all. So anything coming off the battery is a really short uh, trace length or wire length. Uh, the cables were made by a really great company, uh, Battery Cables USA, uh, great service, great pricing, uh, and uh, I highly recommend them. Above the, uh, the charger, uh, there is the, uh, so, yeah, sorry, the inverter, is the solar charger. Um, it's a 40 amp uh, Renogy solar charger uh, that perfectly matches the solar panels that are up on the, on the roof of the van. Uh, I also have a fuse block for distributing all of the uh, 12 volts to all the 12 volt appliances and lighting and such that's in, going on in the van. Over on this end, is uh, the, the uh, connections for the inverter. Um, I'm just gonna run extension cords basically from these three uh, 15 amp outlets off to uh, electrical boxes for powering up different things that are in the van. This output right here is for uh, a dedicated cable to the shower water heater. Uh, it pulls a little over 16 amps uh, above the rating of the 15 amp sockets. Uh, but well below the rating of what the, uh, the inverter can put out. And so that'll have a dedicated line from the, uh, from the inverter to that uh, water heater. Uh, all the, you know, the, the solar charger and the battery are Bluetooth enabled. Um, they talk seamlessly to an app that I run on my phone so I don't have a panel someplace to give me a lot of information. The panel that's on top of the, the charger uh, it's accessible, but not easily. You got to get in to look at it. But all the information that you can see on the on the panel on the charger shows up on the app. So I don't have another you know fancy display. I just use my app on my phone to check you know all the conditions of the battery and the charging and and uh, and see that the system is operating correctly. So this is a, a super compact little uh, electrical box 
it contains all the uh, the essentials and uh, I think it's uh, worked out great and it's, uh, I'm pretty proud of it uh, and this will get uh, installed in the van fairly soon. So This graphic shows the detailed wiring diagram for the electrical system in the van. So thank you for watching and uh, thank you.